Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining this uh, second session of the eighth uh, uh, OCB working group meeting. Uh, today, uh, we will speak, uh, we will uh, provide um, an update on the implemented um, preventive campaigns uh, in three countries, uh, provide an update on the current uh, productions, uh, and discuss the vaccine needs. Uh, yesterday morning, uh, for people who were uh, present, there was a session where country, we asked some countries to present their plans of uh, preventive campaigns uh, to provide an update on where they are in terms of hotspots and in terms of uh, national cholera plan. And I want to give you an update of, uh, of this session that happened uh, tomorrow, uh, yesterday, uh, as an introduction. So first of all, uh, I want to give an update on where we are in terms of uh, hotspots and NCP. So eight countries uh, completed their hotspot uh, analysis using the GTFCC uh, tool. Uh, and uh, some countries are in progress uh, uh, of developing it, like uh, Cameroon and Mozambique, for, for example. In terms of uh, national cholera plan, uh, four countries launched the, their national cholera plan, and uh, two, uh, three countries uh, submitted to, to IRP, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Zimbabwe, and uh, some countries are working on the national cholera plan. So yesterday, nine countries presented the progress uh, and challenges in, uh, implement in, uh, in uh, planned uh, campaigns. Bangladesh, Cameroon, DRC, Ethiopia, Kenya, Mozambique, Nigeria, South Sudan, and Sudan. Uh, there has been uh, uh, good progress done on uh, NCP development uh, and uh, hotspot. Uh, but the, the, what was presented was more focusing uh, on the on the hotspot, and now the countries need to develop uh, their multi-year uh, plans uh, for implementation. Uh, there's a leadership and engagement of government uh, is uh, is playing an important uh, role uh, and needs to be continu continually developed. Uh, the countries presented uh, their preliminary o OCV dose requirement uh, for the next uh, one, three years. Uh, as I said, uh, for the moment, the, the, the vaccine is only uh, based on the, the hotspot, uh, but in total, uh, the summary of the needed doses uh, would be uh, around 57 million for 2022-2023. Uh, uh, but this also, of course, will be uh, adjusted. Uh, some challenges uh, have been, uh, have been uh, faced. Um, the first one that was really mentioned is the, the COVID-19, the challenges that it, uh, it has uh, created, uh, the difficulty to raise awareness uh, on, uh, on cholera and a better communication to improve understanding uh, cholera versus uh, COVID. There's a challenge also in uh, collecting uh, the, the data for the, the five years uh, to, to have all the data uh, that are uh, required. Uh, there's a need of uh, engagement with different uh, sectors. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, the engagement with the, the, the EPI. Uh, and the notion of delaying the, the shipment of a second round was also raised. Uh, additional uh, issues were, were flagged. Um, there's a, a need of the global community must continue to reinforce the, the messages uh, that we need to prevent cholera. Uh, a better synchronization uh, was, um, was uh, mentioned for inter-region inter uh, in implementation. Uh, linkage with the incidence management system uh, and the data, especially the data for good uh, quality. Uh, 
I just also wanted to give an update on the coverage surveys. Uh, so uh, this uh, in 2021, coverage surveys were implemented in Cameroon, Malawi, uh, in Uvira, DRC, Zambia, Zanzibar, and Uganda. Uh, the re we are still waiting for some uh, results. Uh, it's not uh, uh, finished yet. But the, the preliminary results of those coverage surveys suggest uh, uh, a low coverage of uh, two doses. Um, an example is the one that is finished is in Malawi. Uh, the coverage for two doses uh, is around 50%. We wanted to share with you uh, this. Uh, and also, we are planning a review of all the, the coverage uh, survey uh, soon and uh, to see also, uh, to compare the, the coverage surveys for two doses uh, and compare that also with the, the time of implementation, the delay between the first and the second rounds. Thank you. <laughs>